What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is on a 2020 911 Carrera S and as you guys can see this car is pretty filthy. The owner actually bought this car as a beater daily if you can believe that and he drives this Porsche to every single local auction and all the auctions around here are pretty much just a muddy parking lot so here in Florida when it rains every day it's just pretty much a mud puddle but don't worry in today's video we're going to give this Porsche the love it needs and give it a full detail a paint correction and a ceramic coating so if you guys are new to this channel we post these satisfying videos every Thursday at 12 p.m eastern standard time with that being said we're going to go ahead and roll these before shots and get right into this Porsche 911 detail before we hop into this video I just want to let you guys know that our car giveaway is going to end on June 25th so that means that you guys have two days to get entered in to win the Datsun and the five thousand dollars cash so after this video, make sure you guys head over to www.maddetailingusa because every dollar you guys spend on any of our premium car care products is going to get you one entry into the sweepstakes. So starting off this detail with cleaning the wheels first, I'm using my Extreme APC on the tires and fender wheels. And for the wheels, I'm using my Mad Detailing Iron Eraser along with multiple different brushes so I can make sure I get every inch of this wheel and tire 100% clean. Before I can move on to any type of contact wash, I'm first going to foam the entire Porsche down with our foam cannon and our Mad Detailing Super Blue Soap. And then I'm going to clean all the tight areas with a soft detail brush before spraying the vehicle off and then foaming it down once again. And then I'll give it a nice hand wash with a soft microfiber wash mitt.
After getting the vehicle washed, I'm now spraying it down with our mad detailing iron eraser. And what that's going to do is going to loosen up all iron particles such as brake dust and rail dust. A lot of people call it a sprayable clay bar, but in my opinion, it works very well. But I would always recommend clay barring the surface even after using an iron eraser before doing any type of polishing. And that's exactly what we're going to do later on in the video. What is going on everybody and welcome back to the first ever Mad Detailing Car Sweepstakes Giveaway. My name is Foster Mills, I am the owner here at Mad Detailing and right here we have our 1983 Datsun 280ZX that we are going to give away to one of our lucky subscribers aka you guys. And not only are you guys going to win this 1983 Datsun, you guys are going to win $5,000 cash and a fully paid for vacation here to Sanford, Florida, where we can do whatever you guys want to do. And I know you guys are probably wondering, well, how do we get entered to the sweepstakes? And it is super easy. And all you have to do is purchase one of our premium car care products right here on the website. And every dollar you guys spend will give you one entry. So for instance, if you buy this $20 bottle of iron eraser, you will get 20 entries. If you spend a thousand dollars, you get a thousand entries and after that we will ship the product right to your door At the very end of the sweepstakes We're gonna send all of the entries off to a third-party sweepstakes company to make sure everything's legit So all you guys have to do is purchase something on the website and sit back and wait for your phone call so first off, I just want to thank everyone that has participated in the sweepstakes so far. But if you haven't already and you've been wanting to get into it, this is your last and final chance. It's going to be live for the next two days. It's going to end on June 25th at 12 a.m. So make sure you guys head over to the website and pick something up because I want each and every one of you to get a chance to win this beautiful Datsun and $5,000 cash. And also leave a comment down below what would you guys want to do if you do win the vacation down here because like i said we can do whatever you guys want so leave a comment what would you guys do with the car with the five thousand dollars cash and the fully paid for vacation Okay, moving on to cleaning these seats i'm using our mad detailing leather cleaner in a leather brush and i'm just giving it a nice scrub and then i'm using a microfiber to mop it all up and then to condition the leather i'm using my mad detailing leather conditioner and honestly that combination made these seats feel so amazing it's hard to describe but i get a lot of comments people asking is a leather or is a leather cleaner safe on all different types of leather and the answer to that question is yes it can be used on all real leather also fake leather and vinyl and you can also use it on all interior plastic as well so if you guys have not already tried our mad detailing leather cleaner and conditioner i would highly recommend giving it a shot
before I can move on to any type of paint correction, I need to clay bar the surface. And for this, I'm using a synthetic clay bar and our mad detailing clay lube. And if you guys have purchased our mad detailing clay lube, it is super, super, super dilutable. It can be diluted even farther than 10 to one. So yeah, if you guys buy the product, make sure you guys dilute it because if not, you're pretty much just wasting product. And as you guys can see, the paint on this porch is in pretty rough condition. So starting it off, we're using a Rupes 21 polisher, a microfiber cutting pad, and for the compound, we're using CarPro Clear Cut. And honestly, the clear coat on this Porsche was super hard because this combination normally would leave a lot of micro marring behind. But honestly, I could have used this as a one step if I wanted to, but we did not. We went ahead and did a two step. So we will follow this up with a Rupes 21 polisher again, a red polishing pad and Sonex Perfect Finish. So one thing that I don't show, but I do in every single video and after. So one thing that I didn't show is we blow out our pad after every single pass. And this is the most important crucial part when it comes to paint correction, because you do not want to be using a dirty saturated pad because it won't cut the same and you will not get the same results. So make sure anytime you're doing any type of polishing that you blow out your pad with compressed air or you could at least switch your pad out, you know, every couple panels because on this entire vehicle, we probably went through about, let's say five or six pads. So you either want to start with brand new pads and switch them out or just blow out your pad with compressed air with, you know, replacing them after like three or four panels because you can actually save the pads if you would take them off and then clean them later on. But if you would sit there and just use a pad over and over and over, it will get so hot that it'll actually just, you know, delaminate from the backing plate, you know, in itself. So yeah, you always wanna make sure you're switching out your pads frequently and cleaning them out with compressed air or some type of brush.
So after getting this paint fully paint corrected, it's now time to ceramic coat it. But before I do that, I need to prep the surface using some type of alcohol based prep spray. And that's gonna remove any type of waxes or greases or anything left behind. And that will get the paint 100% clean. And it'll make sure that your ceramic coating bonds to the surface properly. So the coating that I'm using now is our brand new matte detailing ceramic coating. And I promise you guys it's coming out soon. I know I've been saying that a lot, but we are not, you know, just a private label. We actually manufacture our own products. So that means that we work with a ton of different chemists to perfect each and every product and we own all rights to it. There's not another company out there that sells this same exact product like some other people, some other detailing influencers. So we went the tough way out, but honestly, I wouldn't have done it any other way because I was able to create my products from the ground up. I know exactly how they work, what's in them, and I own my products, so yeah. But either way, I promise you guys, this ceramic coating is coming very soon. There'll be two different ceramic coatings. There'll be one for a DIY person that wants a ceramic coating or that wants to ceramic coat their vehicle at their house. And there will be another ceramic coating that is designed for professional detailers and you guys will have to get certified for. But I'll let you guys know more about that later on in the future.